I'm calling this simply focus. Focus, focus. It's not an attack on anyone. It's really not. It's just, once again, I have to focus because I was terribly distracted today by a, a, date, a, a debate about Christmas. I'm not going to go into it even. I'm not going to go into even my opinion of it. Yes, I do celebrate Christmas, especially in my heart. I don't celebrate holidays like I used to. No holiday like I used to. But I commemorate the birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ on the 25th of December. If you do not, that's your choice. Actually, I hope you commemorate his birth every single day of your lives in your heart. That's what I do every day. I'm in awe of the incarnation of its majesty and beauty and how it affects everything, everything. But what I, what I saw was a, not a debate about it, but just an attack against Christmas. And for all the people in all the countries of the world who've been celebrating Christmas for hundreds of years, I'm just not going to rain on their parade. I'm not going to do that. Because they've been doing what they believe to be the right thing. Worshipping our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And commemorating the birth of this little baby. God becoming a little baby. Coming to the world as an infant. As something small and helpless. And I commemorate it too. And I'm calling this focus because once again. It's all the wrong priorities. There's another channel where she's always going on about this celebrity and that celebrity, really, I don't care. Or saying that uh, something like, I know Jesus is a black man. I don't care what color he is. I don't. I don't care if he's white, black, Chinese. I know because of where he was born and because of his mother, he wouldn't have been uh, Middle Eastern in appearance. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter to me. I think Jesus if he appeared to someone today, would appear in, in the, uh, according to their nationality so that they would understand. But that's not important. Why are we focused on these silly things instead of our hearts being one with Jesus? Let our hearts be as one, our minds as one, our thoughts as one, our actions as one. It's trivia. That's what I'm saying. It's trivia. Get away from the nonsense. It's coming in so many ways. And well-meaning people are letting it creep in. Because they do realize the time. But the time is so short for us to get ready for whatever. For whatever our mission is. Whatever he calls us to do. So I'm responding to it one time. I'll never bring it up again. It's up to you. When you actually celebrate Christmas, it's a good thing to celebrate it in your heart every day. There's that story that uh, story that's also being trashed when you reject Christmas by Charles Dickens, who did love Christmas, by the way. Wonderful writer. I don't care what anyone says. Um, called A Christmas Carol, and Ebenezer Scrooge comes to love Christmas because his heart is changed through conversion. His whole attitude has changed. He was a a Grinch about Christmas and then he wakes up on Christmas morning after he has these three dreams or apparitions whatever they are and he welcomes Christmas it's like welcoming Jesus you know he's welcoming Jesus he's welcoming new life and that's what it is it's a it's um beautiful when you think about it in those terms but I can't get caught up in it I want Jesus in my heart every single day of the year. I want the baby Jesus. I want the crucified and resurrected Jesus in my heart every day of the year. Stay away from the trivia and the nonsense. There really is no time.